all right welcome back boys and girls okay if you are joining me after watching the previous video thank you so much for coming over i really appreciate it i never take your time for granted all right so uh if you haven't already watched the video of how we created the rig uh just do well to go into the channel and check that out uh it will be in the playlist of auto rig pro as well uh, but do well to check out that video so we see how we created the rig we are going to modify further right now all right so uh basically i'm just fixing up some mistakes i noticed in the mesh i don't know how how the hand got uh, detached from the arm but yeah we'll fix that up so basically now what you want to do after applying this rig since you are not the one that created it there are going to be some problems and some problems that you may not be aware of so what you want to do is test out uh, the different areas of the rig and just uh, keep note of everything that you think is wrong and so that we have uh, something to work off when we're fixing it okay so i'm just going through and doing some things that are not as relevant to the tutorial but i just felt like uh, going through everything so just uh, play around with the rig, see what is happening, see if all the things are working as needed. I think it did a pretty good job of deformation, but uh, of course it would need manual fixing. Now another tip that I can give you is to add keyframes uh, for moving some bones. So instead of uh, trying to position it, you just go ahead and click uh you just go ahead and move in the timeline and you have different positions where you can go ahead and wave paint on now i'm just going through all the layers in uh, the auto rig pro rig to find out what uh layer or what group um the bones that cause deformation are in all right so i'm just going to go through that and as we can see uh that's the group right there all right, so if you do not see the group, just go back some seconds and uh, just look at that again. All right, now make sure you have Vertex uh, Group X turned on uh, because that would save you a lot of time. And if you didn't uh, turn it on, that is going to be a headache in the future. So please make sure you do that. All right, I'm talking for the most part of the beginning, but I think I will abandon you guys to uh, watch these, watch this on your own. Uh, one more thing I did do was to reduce the uh, subdivision level in the viewport because that would slow down every other thing. So we just go ahead and reduce that. All right, now this is a very iterative process. So I'll go ahead and enjoy the time lapse and I will still talk more as we go on if I see the need to. But if I don't, I think I will be wasting my strength. So just go ahead and try and pay attention to everything I do in this video. Enjoy.
All right, another tip I would like to give you guys is uh, at some point you would want to uh, better understand how your character can deform. Just put the character in a very extreme pose. Even if you know this character cannot and will not be in such an extreme pose, just go ahead and put it in a very extreme pose like the legs uh, too far back so that you just get a basic understanding of what everything is doing. And one more thing you can do is at some point you can select the root bone and just move that as far away as possible. What can happen sometimes is when wave painting, you're removing weights from a particular vertex, you would uh, accidentally leave that vertex unassigned to any group and that vertex would be st uh, standing alone, All right? So sometimes just go ahead and click the root bone and just move that uh, far away and just check if there are any vertex dragging or lagging, lacking, lagging behind, all right? So those are my quick tips. Uh, enjoy the rest of the time lapse.